Hello. In this podcast, I'm going to show basic data binding with Visa's Presentation Foundation development in uh, Visual Studio 2010. And also, I'm going to show some problem with this uh, data binding with designing uh, X64 applications and a basic workaround for this particular problem. Let's start with creating a new project called Visual Presentation Foundation application and add basic data binding class for this application. The class will be named, for example, data item. This class will represent some basic data by two properties. Both of these should be public and accessible both for reading and writing. First pro property will be ID. And the second one will be name. Now let's rebuild our solution to let uh, the designer of Visual Studio know about our created data item class and create a new data source by using this link. You just need to pick up this data item class from the list of the classes of classes of our application. And also we can use basic drag and drop to generate lots of code. But not completely all the code will be was was generated automatically. We need to specify a container for objects of our data item class in this window loaded method, for example. We can use observable collection class to to uh, to create an object or to store these uh, objects of data item class. Let's let's make it. And we need to use special namespace for this. Let's call this container items and create just a basic new object. This is not enough. We have to provide uh, created data item, data binding uh, control on our uh, Windows Presentation Foundation application designer uh, with this object. Now it's complete and we can start one on our application and see how it works. And it seems that it's not really complicated to design uh, Windows Presentation Foundation applications. But now let's show, let me show you a basic problem. I'm going to application pro uh, parameters and change those basic parameter platform target from x86 to x64. And now let's get back to our main window designer and let's rebuild it. Now we'll see what designer fails and show us some errors. And I expect that this errors was caused because by the reason we changed, because we changed the parameter of our application target to x64 while Visual Studio is still x86 application. Let's fix it. First, let's get back with our platform target and rebuild our solution. Don't worry, this is okay. This is just a problem of designer. And now let's remove all data binding code from our application and recreate it later again. We should remove create resources, data context, well, grid and data grid as well. Also, we have to remove link to our namespace. Now it should be okay, but also we have to remove the code which we used to create previously manually. Now it's supposed to work correctly. Yes, and now let's change platform target back to x64. It works correctly again. 
Now let's place our data item class in a different, uh, in a different class library. Let's create a new class library project for this. Uh, I should mention that this class library op uh, uh, should be should have target any CPU. It allows us to use it in both x64 and x86 platforms. We already have a basic class class one in this class library, and we can just uh, copy paste the contents of this data item class in this new class one, just for for a basic example. Now let's get back to main window and rebuild our solution again and create a new data source and don't not just forget to remove that this previously created data source. Let's make it and point to the new created class library with the only one class there, class one. And now let's proceed with the same procedure of drag and drop, and also adding basic code to this window loaded method. Now we have to use class one namespace. And finishing, providing container for our items. Now let's start our application and see again what it works correctly. So that means our workaround works correctly for our application and we can even try to use kind of validation of data, good data. We are unable to specify not the numbers with ID property of our data item classes. Now we see what both data item and data binding and workaround for X64 application design in Visual Studio 2017 works correctly. And thank you for your attention.